how to make a portfolio website using WordPress. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we will be taking a look at how you can build your own portfolio website using WordPress. So let's get into it. Now, the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to hop on over to your WordPress dashboard. Now, I have hosting and I have my domain name. If you don't have hosting already, you will have to select hosting and domain names. And there are a bunch of different videos out there, but you probably already have a WordPress account. So just hop on over and we're going to begin creating our portfolio website now. Once you have logged on to your WordPress dashboard, you're just going to click on appearance on the left side of your screen. And I have already installed the Elementor website editor because I like to use that to build my website. So if you are comfortable with just using the WordPress editor, you can use that. However, I prefer the editor provided by Elementor. Now I'm just going to go into the appearance section and once you click on appearance, you're going to click on add new on the top left. Now to build a WordPress portfolio website, you're going to go into add new and over here, you're just going to search for a theme on the right side of your screen and you're just going to search for arrival me. Once you search for arrival me, you will see this is the first search result. So it's called arrival me. And this is a template that is going to help you in building your own portfolio website. So you can see it's a simple template and it's very easy to edit. So we're just going to click on install over here. And once this has been installed, we're just going to click on activate. So this will take me to the theme section of my appearance and once I have activated it, this will be applied to my website. So if I go on over to my website over here, this is what it's currently looking like. So now I'm going to go back into my WordPress dashboard and I'm just going to go into my appearance section. And now you can click on customize over here to head on over and customize the overall theme. So you can see over here that this is the WordPress editor and now we can begin, you know, customizing this theme. Now I actually like to use Elementor, so I'm going to go back into my uh, website editor and I'm just going to go on ahead and click on new. I'm going to click on Elementor over here, but before I do that, I'm going to go into my pages section and I'm just going to delete the excess pages that I have. And I'm just going to click on bulk actions, move to trash and apply. So any pre-existing pages other than the template are not on my website. And now you can see over here, my theme has been applied. Now this is what the simple template is going to look like. And we're going to begin editing now. So now going back into my WordPress dashboard, I'm just going to go into my appearance and then I'm going to click on arrival setup. And now from here, you can begin customizing the basic theme. So you can click on header options and then begin adding your headers, your basic menu options. So first off, we have our basic header and we can go on ahead and begin editing our menus because those are some of the most essential things. So you have a theme file and your editor as well and I wouldn't recommend that you you know try to change that because if you do it's going to wreak a lot more havoc than actually helping you out in editing this so to get started all I'm doing is I'm just going to click on the top section over here and I'm going to change the name of the website so the site title might be Jane's portfolio and then below that the tagline could be graphic designer so maybe I'm a magazine editor, I'm going to add that. And then you're going to choose the color that you want it to be in. So let's say I just want it to be in black. And then below that, I want to just go on ahead and I'm just going to go back now. After that, I'm going to click on my header settings. And let's say I want a white header. And below that, I'm just going to scroll down. I'm going to add the navigation height. So I'm just going to increase this in size. And below that, I just have my header styles and colors as well, so I can customize those. And I'm just going to go into the next section, which is going to be my general options. And then I have my general styles, so you can customize these styles from here. And then below that, I have footer settings, header images, and menus. So in my menus, I'm going to click on create new menu. Now, once I've created my menu, I can begin adding items. So in my menu section, let's say I want a home page and then my work page. 
and then the next section could be a new page maybe that is called previous job placements so on and so forth you can add more menu items i think these are enough for the portfolio that we are sampling over here and then after that we're just going to click on publish just so our settings are saved and once I've done that, I'm just going to go back into my WordPress editor. And from here, you can go on ahead and click on new and then begin editing with Elementor. So I'm going to go back to Elementor now to begin editing my website. And you can see this is the simple Elementor section. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go into the home page. And what we're going to do is we're going to click on settings. We're going to change the title over here and i'm just going to update as i go now next up we're just going to go on ahead back into our elementor editor and you can begin adding images to get started so we're just going to go on ahead and build our little section so now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to click on customize on my website builder and from here i'm going to click on my header settings you can click on inner header options or you can add a header image so i'm going to click on add new image i'm going to click on upload files and i'm just going to upload a file for my header so let's say this is the portfolio image that i want to use like so and now i'm going to click on cropping i'm just going to crop this image and we're just going to wait for this to be cropped and I'm just going to see how this is going to appear on my header. I think this is not going to look good. I'm just going to remove that and I'm just going to keep the header simple instead. Below that, you have your menus. Now, currently, I have my portfolio with my work and job referrals. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually go into my work section and I'm going to click on edit with Elementor from my WordPress dashboard. And now I'm going to begin adding all of my work. So this is the my work section and I'm just going to click on, let's say that I have some images of my previous work or images and some text I want to add. So I'm gonna scroll down on the left side of Elementor and I'm going to add the image box. So from here, I can upload images of my work and start adding text as well. And then you can also hyperlink information regarding your previous work. Once you have customized it, you're just going to click on update and it will be added to your WordPress website. And now if I go back onto my website, I have a simple little portfolio website where people can get the basic information and get you know all of the basic zest of my work so that is how simple and easy it is to build a portfolio with wordpress you need a simple plugin and you can use any website builder to continue with the template and begin editing the template that is totally up to you but the basic template that you're just going to be using in the appearance section is arrival me and then you can customize it to your own liking and to your own profession so that was it for today i hope you guys found this video helpful make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video